Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Matt Plays Your Games. Today, I'm going to be going over the five winners from the Challenge Game Jam, which I hosted throughout the month of May. Now, if you did miss that, don't worry, I will probably be hosting another one soon. I don't have any details on that yet, as I don't have anything planned yet. However, I will most likely do one. But without further ado, let's get into this video where I'm playing the top five games from the Challenge Game Jam. And I also just want to say congratulations to the winners and also well done to everyone else as well for still managing to submit a game and complete a game for this game jam. But let's start off with the winner and that is Captain Stupendo. So let's just get right into it and hit play. So here we are, it looks like there's an intro movie which is interesting, let's watch that. We ain't pals here. Oh, it's it's other it's other pandemonium. Oh no, they're, they're, oh my goodness, they're they're just zapping us all. The aliens that came down from nowhere, they said they came in peace, but but I don't know what to do. Everyone should run, run, yeah, run like that lady right there. Oh, run away, run for your lives. What are we gonna do? Oh no, the humanities. The oh my goodness! If, if only there was someone that could save us. Okay, so it looks like it's an alien invasion, and I'm guessing I'm Captain Spendo, and I've got to save the day. Uh, so let's just press play. Fires extinguished, UFOs destroyed, humans lost. Okay, I've got two minutes. Can I fly? Oh, I can with shift. Okay, here we go. And then left click. Was that do nothing? Uh, okay. Right. So there's UFOs up here. I just fly into them. I do just fly into them. Okay. One second. This is very loud. Let me just turn this down. There we go. Okay. So I just fly into them like this. Yeah, that would destroy them. Okay. This is cool. Uh, humans are dying, which is a shame. I don't know how to stop that. I guess I just got to destroy these. Uh, there's a fire there. How do I put out the fire? Do I just go into it as well? Oh. Uh, okay, how would I do that? Hold on, the controls. Here we go. Uh, forward, left, back, right. Hover is F. Okay, that's good. Fast flight. Ability is left click. It doesn't need to do anything though. Um, okay. Let's hover. Left click. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, let's just focus on getting the UFOs for now then. Uh, yeah, because my left click isn't doing anything, which I'm guessing is how you put the fire out. So, yeah, let's just get the UFOs. Where are the other ones? Uh, where are they? Is that all of them? Oh no, there's loads here, never mind. Let's get that one. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this does look very good, though. This looks very cool. The flying mechanics as well do feel very nice, they feel very fluid, which is very good. Like I said, I don't, can't seem to figure out how to extinguish the fires, because I think it's probably meant to be left click. Okay, this is cool though. What, can I go down here? Uh, no, that's all flooded. <laughs> okay. Uh, 14 UFOs destroyed. Oh, I've got 15 seconds left. Okay. Oh, there's another one here. There we go. Let's see if we can get another one before we all run out of time. Yep. Any more? Can't see any. Oh, there's one there. Oh, two seconds. I'm not going to get it. Secret score zero. Okay. End stage. Okay. So, fight extinguish zero. UFOs destroyed 16. Humans lost 37. Okay. I think I did very bad then. So, how do I. Yeah, left click still doesn't do anything. Do I need to collect water maybe? Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's. Let's go over to the water, see if I can collect some. Maybe I need to do that. No, I'm just walking on it. Oh wow, I didn't even see this thing up here. Oh, so I'm guessing this is what we're coming from then. How did I completely miss that before? Okay, yeah, I can't figure out how to extinguish fires. Use my ability. Trying every button. It doesn't seem to work. Oh, so let's hover. And then go back down for it. There we go. Okay, yeah, so I just got to get the UFOs before they get the people. And I'm guessing people are probably also dying in the fires as well, which I, I can't do anything about that, I'm afraid. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to focus on getting the UFOs, as that's all I seem to be able to do. This game is really good though, it seems very polished. 
I think I read something about the secret school on the Itch.io page. I think I said it's just kind of... Oh, I missed that. It's just basically how you're doing is added up in secret. I don't think it's actually anything secret to do. I believe. Anyway, I might be wrong. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> Let's turn around. Let's try it again. Yeah, because the, the fly mechanics are really cool as well. The way you can just turn around quickly like that. It's very well done. Uh, 30 seconds. I think I've even. I think I've done even worse this time around than I did the first time. Oh, there we go. Triple kill there. Yeah, they're all lining up for me here. This is good. I think I got 16 last time, didn't I? So if I can try and beat that. What? Oh, I'm not going to. I'm missing this completely. Yeah, I think I'm going to get 16 again. Unless I can get one quickly. No, I don't think I can. Okay. Alright, let's go to the menu. Stats. Stats. Oh my god, no. Oh no, I know I got 32. Oh no, that's total, I think. Okay. Fires extinguished zero, UFOs destroyed 32, humans lost 65. Okay, cool. So I think I'll probably leave this one there. This is very, very good. Like I say, this is the winner of the whole game jam. So well done. Congratulations. And I really did enjoy your game. Next up, we have Unfold. And this came second place. So let's get into it and hit play. Okay, I think it's just put it right into it. Press A and D to walk. But yeah, it has. There's no menu. It's just straight in. Okay. Interesting. Uh, press A and D to walk. Here we go. It's very dark. Okay. Right, here we go. Uh, a flashlight. Oh, I'm going downstairs, apparently. Here we go. Okay. This is cool. Controls of this kind of unique. So it's just left and right, but the camera's moving around to change where you go. Oh, we're watching TV. Oh no. Oh, we're on VR now. Oh, I thought he was crying. He's just been headset on. <laughs> Press once to walk. Okay, that was kind of cool. Oh wow, this feels good. Press space to jump. Jump again right after landing for speed boost. It stacks up to two times. Okay, you can run off walls and jump off them. Okay, this is cool. Staying the same wall slows you down. Oh. Okay, this is really good. Press shift after jumping to dash once in any direction. Oh yeah. You cannot dash while falling. Dashing removes active speed boosts. Okay. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> oh, I, th I went for that. Okay. So I went to jump on it, but I don't think I'm meant to. I think I'm just meant to do that. There we go. Press right mouse button to slow time and increase air control for a short duration. Use right mouse button above... Oh, okay, I should have read that first. Uh, use right mouse button above this block for precision landing. Oh, I, I missed that. Okay. Okay, I'm missing this entirely. I'm still just going too fast. My momentum's carrying me forwards. Oh, uh, nearly. There we go. And then dash over. Nice one. Hold left mouse button to move blue obstacles. Oh, cool. Okay. This is really good. Some paths are shorter, but more difficult. Okay. I guess we'll try it. Oh, what? What happened there? Are they slippy or something? Or did I just miss it? I don't know. Ooh, just. The gate on the left activates a stopwatch which started after the first jump. Oh, okay. Beating the clock is optional but fun. Oh, I think it means which starts, not started. Okay. Press R to return to the last checkpoint. Hold R to restart level and reset time. This concludes the tutorial. Okay, this seems really good. I really like the controls of this. Obviously, that's the main point of the game, but they are really good. They feel really, really fluid and really smooth. Okay, so let's... Let's start this then. Oh, it started already. I thought it was going to start after the first jump. Okay, cool. Nice one. Can I get up there? Oh no, I can walk around it though. Okay, nice one. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let me restart. Oh, I took me all the way back to the start of the tutorial. Okay. Well, I'll get back to you when I get packed there then. Okay, right, let's try this again. 
So don't restart because that will restart the whole level. Okay, let's get those fully out of the way. Okay, so I did quite well last time. Oh, that looks long though. Okay. Yeah, so let's not restart next time. I just wanted to get a good time. Okay, let's go. Oh, I completely messed that up. How did I do that so well the first time? Oh, I don't know how I saved that. I just went around the back. Like that, there you go. Doing trick shots now. <laughs> oh, okay. I am messing this up entirely, but it's it's working. Oh yeah, there's a short path there. I didn't even notice this. Here we go. This is cool. This is a fun game, I can't lie. Nice little obstacle course. Oh, I missed that. Oh, spawning backwards. Okay. Yeah, it's just a nice little fun obstacle course with really good controls. I nearly messed that up. And so yeah, so this came second place. you got to remember this was done in a game jam over the course of a month. And they made all of this. Oh, no. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, so this was made throughout the course of May over one month. Which is really good. Oh, this is where my time is just gonna just gonna go all the way down. Oh, never mind. Got it. Okay, I guess I'll try red. It's the harder path. Oh, I should not have tried red. Never mind. Oh, that was too close. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I messed that up. Okay, let's try. Let's try blue. Let's try both routes. See. Uh, Let's try out the whole game. There we go. This is very fun though. Ooh. <laughs> Every time I stop talking I mess up. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, it's good fun though. Oh no. I've taken so long I've outrun the music. <laughs> There's no more music anymore. Alright, let's keep trying. I will finish it. Oh, I thought I could skip it. Let's try red again. Since it spawned me and go in that direction. Oh no. Here we go. Okay, I made it. Right, let's not mess this up now. Okay, we're making good progress. I might have this. Yes, there we go. Cool, nice one. Is this the end? No, that's not even the end yet. I think that was a checkpoint though. This has got to be the end, surely. Okay, four minutes isn't bad. Hold R to try again, space can do. Let's just continue. Oh, okay, here we are. Back here again. Oh, well, there's someone else now. To be continued. To be have been continued. It unfold 4D. That was very good. Christopher Bruckner, Bruckner. That was really good. I did actually really enjoy that because, like I say, the the controls felt really good. Special thanks to Game Dev TV, Matt Asplund. Yeah, that was very good, and that was second place. Really enjoyed that. Obviously, the main focus on the game there was the controls to be able to have the fluid smooth movements of the for the obstacle course and that was really well done so congratulations on second place and really well done now we have third place which is Zagan Interitus sorry if I mispronounced that but this again is third place here we are let's have a look at the controls so where's to walk left shift so sprint space to jump left mouse button is light melee attack and telekinetic push right mouse button is heavy melee attack and Telekinetic pull, okay. Then Q is block, left alt is dodge, R is heal, okay, I'm gonna forget all of this. One is toggle melee, two ensnare ability, three summon schools for chaos beam. Okay. Probably gonna forget all that, but let's hit play. Okay, this looks cool. Uh, okay, it's telling me some stuff as well. I like the character of this, this looks good. So this light attack. 
heavy attack. Cool. Okay. So let's go around here. Space jump, hold sh left shift, sprint. Touch the dead end. Yellow key card required. Okay. Let's go this way. Q hold halves incoming damage, left hold dodge. Okay. So that's dodge. Oh wow, okay. They do a lot more. They shoot a lot more than I thought they would. I might die here. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. It's good. Is that the key card? UI, arm is yellow, health red, fury is orange. Okay. Pick up the key card. There we go. And I guess I go back round here. Toggle melee range mode. Oh, yeah. And force pull, force push. Ooh, okay. Not a fury. Oh, did I just waste that? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Anyone in here? No? Good. Defeat all enemies in torture chamber. Oh, let's try that. Cool. Okay, I like the fighting mechanics of this. They do feel good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there's so many. Got them. Two in snare. Send, spend 50% fury to bind enemies and steal their health. Oh, that's good. Do that. Cool. Okay. 50% fury, though. That's a lot. Nice one. Ah, uh, hold. Oh, yeah, I can heal. Can't be moving or performing other action. That's good. I thought I can do that. Okay, I'm glad it is telling me all this stuff because, like I said, I did forget everything. Uh, let's go through here then. What is that? Defeat all enemies in lab. Great. How do I get fewer as well? It's just through fighting. Oh wow, I'm taking damage. Oh, she can dodge? Okay. Oh wow, they're... These are like the higher level ones. Oh, I've got low health. Oh no, that's just my armor actually, isn't it? Not my health. So my armor's about to run out, which isn't, isn't good. Oh, he's big one. Oh, this isn't good. Snare them. Okay, that's really good. Oh, I can break them out. Okay, and snare is very good actually. Oh, <laughs> can break those out. Cool. Okay, is that all of them? I think so. Sector clear. Proceed to exit. I just want to break these out just because I can now. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Right. Exit. Have I done it? Or is that just like the tutorial? Oh, I think that was just the tutorial. Exit, robotics, barracks. Let's go to robotics first. Chief engineer office. Defeat all enemies in robotics. Oh, I didn't think there was going to be more in here. I thought this was like my lab or something, my safe area. Not the fury, oh no. Okay, there we go. Them more? No, I think we're good. No, the wine, there is more. <laughs> and dodge? Uh, not dodge, sorry, block. There we go. Oh, there's another one there as well. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, that's the wrong button. What's going on over there? I think he's stuck, which is good for me. Oh, there's so many. Oh, no. I don't know why I expected the robotics base, to be honest. It would be robots, wouldn't it? Okay, it's heavy. There we go, got one. I mean, he is blocking him, which is very good for me. Oh, I have low health, though. Okay, let's heal. Cool. Okay, I think that's all of them. Yeah, so this uses Fury. Robotics clear, chief engineer, office open. Good. I'm just healing because I need to do that. 
I did use like all of my Fury though, but that's fine. Green key card, nice one. Okay. This is a very good game, I, I enjoy this. Again, this was third place. So let's go to barracks. Oh, okay, I need two key cards to exit. Cool. Oh, this is a big room. The officer room is over there. Defeat all enemies in barracks. Okay, it's just these guys again, that's fine. Although there's probably going to be a lot of them, isn't there? Oh, wow, these are okay. Maybe this isn't actually fine. Can I do... No, I can't do a snare. Oh. Okay. There's so many. Okay, I can a snare now. I'm not going to do it just yet, though. Okay, let's do it in the middle of all of this. There we go. Cool. Okay, that ensnare is really good. Well, I'm about to die, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no, I died. Oh, so close, though. How far back is I going to spawn me? Because I was so close to winning that. Oh, I've got to do the whole thing again. Oh, no. Okay, I might leave this one here because I don't want to spend too long on each game because I've got quite a few to go through this episode. But I did really enjoy this game. It felt very good. The mechanics were all there. I did really enjoy this. Okay, I was so close to winning because I had one key card. I was about to get the other one. Then I could fix it. But again, really enjoyed this game. And obviously, all the links to these games are in the description down below if you want to play them for yourself as well. So thank you again for submitting and well done on third place. Next up is fourth place and we have Superhero. Okay, so let's go to a new game. Do not fret everyone because your hero is here to save the day. Out of space, okay. Watashi wa Superhero da. Oh, in, oh that's okay, that's not good. Or in English, they call me Superhero. With my ultimate superpower, I am ready to go on exciting adventures and face many challenges to protect the world from injustice and evil. Heroes, it's time for school. Ma, uh, you can't reveal my real name. I'm a mass hero with a mysterious identity. I made you sausages for breakfast. Okay. So we're going to school. Today, there is duty that I must fulfill. That is, making the space of the creation of future generations comfortable and beautiful duty. You mean cleaning duty? Okay, this isn't the art I was expecting. This is nice. Silence Gresham? That sounds so lame. The lame one is you. Besides, why are you all alone? Where are the other students on today's cleaning duty? This is a duty that is too, too heavy for them to bear. That is why they gave on to me, superhero. Aren't they just using you? Oh, you're just so negative, Greetum. Whatever. Anyway, I'll be waiting in the club room. Don't take too long. Okay, this is easy stuff. I'll be quick as lightning. Okay, so I'm, I've got, got to do some cleaning then. The arrow keys is to move, okay. Dash is shift. Action is Z, enter in space. Cancel is main menu, X, escape. Okay. So, invisible shadow ghost, dust. How do I clean it? You're not cleaning that? Okay. Let's clean this one instead. Pick up trash. Okay, there we go. Pick up power up. Got trash. Okay. So I don't clean the dust then, I guess. Just the uh, the rubbish on the floor. Okay. Like I said, this isn't the art I was expecting, but it looks very good though. I do enjoy it. I do like it. Uh, pick up power up. Nice one. Oh, okay, I can't get that way. I've got to go all the way back. Oh, it's somewhere under that desk over there. There you go. Is that all of it? Uh, looks like it. Oh, move chair. Okay, that's not the way it needs to go. <laughs> Let's go up here. Oh. Wrong button. Oh, wrong way again. Okay, so now... Need to go all the way back up around again. Now I should be able to go underneath past it. Oh, wait, what? It moved back? Is it haunted chair or something? Do I need to move it all the way up? And around. Uh, well, I think 
think I've got it stuck now. <laughs> okay. Our chair's also facing the wrong way. Can't move that one though. Oh, I can walk through the chairs. I didn't even realize I could do that. Oh, but not that one. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's moved again. Yeah, we've got a haunted chair. <laughs> okay, I just need to wait for it to move itself down. Can I leave? Or. I've not yet fulfilled my duty. Okay. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a duster or anything either to clean the dust. Oh, you can use left mouse button as well to move. Okay, that's cool. Uh, oh, I can right click to do this. Okay. Item. Okay. Right, so. That chair is doing something. Oh, I can put the trash in there. Okay, well, now am I done? No. <laughs> Cubbies. In the back of the blue, in the back of the closet, there's a note that says, "Don't forget to put things back where they were." Yeah, I'm guessing that's the chair. Find a broom. Okay, here we go. So now I should be able to clean up the dust. Yes. Okay. Cool. Let's go back over here. Nice one. I think there's one more up here, wasn't there? Yeah. Don't know what I'm meant to do with that chair. Okay, good. Then let's put this broom back. Now can I go? No. I think that chair is probably the last thing. I just don't know what I'm meant to do because I think that's stuck now because I need to push it down but I obviously can't get up above it <laughs> which is an issue. So there's loads of chairs turned around as well but I can't do it. Oh, return the chair. Oh, okay, there we go. I can turn them around. Is that it? I think I still need to put that other chair back. But yeah, it doesn't let me return it, just move it. But yeah, I can't move it down. Unless I just have to wait for it to do its haunted thing, in which it might push itself down. It doesn't look like it's going to move, uh, which is a shame. So I might have to leave this game early, which is... Which is a shame because this looks like it could be quite a good game. But like I said, I don't have a lot of time, so I think I probably will leave this one here. Which again is unfortunate. Uh, very sorry that I couldn't play any more of the game, but it does say there's about 30 minutes of gameplay, so I wouldn't have chance to play all of it anyway. Uh, but thank you for submitting once again. This does look great. And obviously, it is great because it got fourth place. It's just, I just can't continue it now based on time. But thank you again for submitting, and congratulations on fourth place in the game jam. And last but not least, we have 5th place, which is 7 Aura. And this is just an in-browser one, so let's hit Run Game. Don't think I'm going to make it any bigger than that, so I might have to zoom in. So sorry if the quality isn't amazing. Many people are shapeshifters by 7 Aura. Okay, so start game, arrow keys to move, X action, Z to undo, R to restart. So X, yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, cool. Okay, I get it. This is cool. Yeah, okay. This is nice. And then like that. Okay. So, yeah, so this is a short puzzle script game. Might be the most difficult game I've made so far. Touching a block gives you the shape and power of that piece. You can navigate the level and move objects with their power. Touching another block changes your size and power. The number in the block shows you their power. Cool. Uh, oh, where do I go from there? Oh, I can go into there. Okay. Uh, what do I do here then? 
Oh, I can go into there. And then push them. Yeah. And then I can... I become that one there. Oh, I can. Okay. I don't know if I fully understand it yet, but whatever I'm doing works. <laughs> like, I don't know why I could change it into that one. But I can, and it works, like I say, so I'm not going to complain. Okay, I can't go there. Can I go down there? No. Oh, okay, I can do that, though. I can change it to that one. And then... Can I push that one up? No, I can push that one down, though change into that, then push that up, push that over, can I not just change into that, yeah I can, then I can move those over, okay, and then I can change into one, and then to one, and then to two, and then two can push other twos, no it can't, okay never mind, it can push other ones, so I can then, but not that one, Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't fully understand that I don't think. But it's it's cool though. The mechanics are a bit cool. Um So I can't move any of these, I don't think. No, it won't let me. Okay, so I can't go there. I can't push any of these or change into any of these. So what can I do? <laughs> oh wait, there was action as well, wasn't there? Press X. Oh no, that's not doing anything. Okay. And R restarts. Okay, so I think maybe it's possible that you can mess it up. Which I think is what I just did. Yeah, so I can move those there. Okay, so I think that's what I did. I think I just messed it up. And I can change into that one there. And then... Okay, let, let's change into this one, and then push that over, and then go down. No, push that one down, and then switch to this one. Push that over, and I can go down here, and then change into two, and then push these up. Okay, yeah. So it is possible to mess it up, and then you'll have to restart. Okay, that's cool. Oh, but then that one there is messing it up again. <laughs> oh no, I can push that. Okay. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now. That's cool. This is this is actually very good. I like this. So we'll move that down. Okay, I don't think I did that right. <laughs> Let's restart. So I go down here. So you can't switch into any of these. So I have to switch to this one. And then if I push that one up, yeah. Oh, but not. Oh, well now I can't go up there. Okay, so not like that. If I push it up there and then go back round, there we go. Okay, I'll probably do a few more levels, then call it there, because this is a really good game. But again, don't have a lot of time because I've got through a lot of games today. So I'll probably do this last one and then come off. So let's see if I can figure this one out. So we'll change to the one there. And I need to get that purple one down to, from the bottom left to the bottom right. Okay, so if I move that up, let's say. And then, okay, actually that's all I can do with that. So, yeah, so I have to switch to this. Let's move that over. And that up and then over again. They're now all the way back there. But I th think I might have to use that to move this one. Because, well actually no, maybe I could leave that one there. Let's switch to that two, and I'll that one. No, I can't get down there, can I? No, okay, so I need to move that two as well. How can I move the two? Oh, I have to be that two. Right, okay. Well, I think 
Okay, well, I think I was on the right tracks. Let's push that back up and then these over. And then if I switch to this one and then go up and around, I should be able to push that down there. Oh, I didn't mean to push that there. Oh, I think I had it right and I just accidentally pushed that one. Okay, <laughs> right, let's try again. And then we switch to the one, then we go up and down and around like this. Yeah, okay, nice one. So like I said, I think I'm gonna leave that there. This is a really fun game, actually. I do really enjoy this. It's a nice little puzzle. Took me a couple of minutes to get the hang of it to actually understand what's happening and why it's happening. But once I did, it was really good fun. So again, really enjoyed this. Well done and congratulations on fifth place. So I think that'll be it for this video on covering the top five games in the Challenge Game Jam, which is a game jam I hosted from the 1st of May to the 31st of May this year. And the theme as well for all of these games was superpowers. So thank you again to everyone who submitted. Well done to these winners and well done to everyone who also managed to create a game. That's a huge achievement in itself. So again, thank you so much for submitting and thank you for watching this video as well. Links are in the description down below to play these games. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.